Welcome to Malita's Delicacies. Friends, today I am back with another interesting Goan recipe for you and that is the Osandache Tonak or the cow peas curry in coconut or we call it the Osandache Rose. It's typically served in many Goan restaurants for breakfast. And if you ask for special bhaji, then they do serve these Osondets or rose as the special bhaji. This is a Osonde farm that I have come to just to show people how they grow. But many people mistake cow peas for tsonglyo or the black eyed beans. Now Osonde and tsonglyo are totally different. Color is different, their nutritional value also is a bit different. Sunday and they are brownish in color, they are called cow peas. And the tsolio, these are the tsolio, and they are called as black eyed beans. Friends, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, then please do it now and press the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new one. Now here I am taking two cups of a sundae and I am going to soak them overnight. Any of the pulses if they are well soaked then their nutritional value increases. So make sure that you soak them at least for minimum of 5 to 6 hours. My sundae are well soaked overnight. And now let's add them to your pressure cooker, add enough of water so as they get immersed in the water, add salt and cook for up to two whistles and let rest. I have taken here two cups of freshly grated coconut, 10 kola chilies and 6 bedgi chilies. Both have a different spice level and they will adjust the spice, the flavor and the color of your curry. 2 tablespoons of coriander seeds, teaspoon of fennel seeds, about 20 peppercorns, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 7 cloves, half teaspoon of homemade turmeric powder, 2 inch of cinnamon stick, half of mace, a quarter piece of the nutmeg and half of star anise which I will de-seed. Removing the seeds of the star anise is very important because this seed otherwise adds a little bitter taste to your masala. So always make sure that you de-seed the star anise before you add to your masala. I have here a small piece of ginger, 6 cloves of garlic, half onion, a small lemon size ball of tamarind which I soaked in water. Now let's roast all the spices and the coconut. I have added 1 tablespoon of oil to a pan and add your spices one by one and roast them slightly till they turn aromatic. Make sure that you do not burn your spices. Always roast your spices on low to medium flame. Be on site when you are roasting your spices because they can get burnt. How much you roast your spices always makes a lot of difference in your flavor of your dish. I have cut the onion in length, slightly saute it, add your coconut and the turmeric powder and slightly roast your coconut till the color changes a bit and the coconut starts giving a nice roasted aroma. Now once your spices are nice and cold, add them to your jar. I preferably powder them first and then I add the coconut and grind coarsely. See, I 
made it into powder now i'm going to add my coconut in batches since my jar is small add enough of water as required to grind add the remaining coconut and grind as well add the soaked tamarind to your mixture while grinding and your masala is ready you see it is not fine it is nice and coarse medium it is add about 2 tablespoon of oil to your wok add two large onions chopped add about four to five sweet green chilies depending upon your spice level add one potato and two carrots cut into cubes slightly cook them for about 1 to 2 minutes then add your masala and give a thorough mix and once the masala starts to boil a bit adjust the consistency with the masala water from your jar let it simmer for a minute now add your boiled cow peas i did not add all the water at one time so that to check on the consistency let it simmer for about 5 to 6 minutes do the taste test check if your potatoes and your carrots are cooked cook for another few minutes if required do the taste test add salt if required give a good mix chalo at this point add once it is almost done and full of chopped coriander give a thorough mix and let it cool for 5 minutes your delicious osonda chetona or the cow peas masala is ready to be served this is a perfect recipe that you would want to try especially in those days where you when you do not eat fish or meat a perfect for those days goes to well with rice or goan bread that matter in our family we do enjoy it with some porre as well for the breakfast do try this recipe at your home with your family and friends and don't forget to leave your feedback in my comment section thank you for watching much love from melita's delicacies and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more exciting recipes that i upload every week